Welcome and welcome everyone to Pilates for All. A very different vibe from the last class. So this class is a Pilates class that's designed for all levels of ability. You do need to be able to get down to the floor, but once you're down here, we're not going to get up again. And we are going to do a variety of different things. And you know, it's up to you how hard you work. I'm sweating from the last class. So if you want to keep things nice and gentle, then I will show you the gentle options. If you know harder options that you'd like to pop in, absolutely fine. Obviously, I can't see you to keep you safe. So you have to judge for yourself. Good morning, Diane and Kathy. You found this one, Diane. The last one didn't pop up for some reason. Sometimes it doesn't work on Facebook Live. I don't know why. So anyway, I've got my cushion. For those of you who do want to make it harder, of course you could have your hand weight. I won't be using mine, but if you want to use yours, you can do. And we are going to start seated. So once we're all ready, get yourself set. Make sure you've got space. If you just did the last class, have some more water. I'm sweating, absolutely sweating. So we're going to start seated. So the thing with Pilates, it's all about control and also working within your own limits and listening to your body. And that kind of goes hand in hand. So some days I'll do a move and it'll feel absolutely fine. Other days I'll do the same move and it'll feel really uncomfortable. So I'll, you know, I judge whether I'm gonna do it or not. Same goes for you. So if you find something is just not good today, put an alternative thing in. But let's start with posture. First of all, everybody, lengthen up through your crown, suck in your stomach muscles, tuck your chin very slightly so you've got a lovely long back of the neck. Take a breath in. This class is 35 minutes. 30 minutes of exercise, five minutes rest at the end. Breath in again. Exhale. Okay, a little bit of mobility to begin with. So we're gonna work on our shoulders. I want you to give them a roll. So simple mobility moves. It's very easy to forget to do them. Um, if you've got some kind of aches and pains, these often will help a lot. So rotate your shoulders round. Good, one at a time. I'm letting my upper body move a bit. I am pulling in my tummy, but I'm letting those shoulders just roll. Pop them back to where they were. Now we're gonna take our ear towards our shoulders. So breathe in first, and then just let your head gently ease over. And I'm hoping you can get a wonderful stretch down the opposite side of the neck. Those who wanna add a bit extra, you push that hand away. So if your head's gone right, it'll be your left arm that you're pushing out with. Hold it there. Good, back up you come, head goes the other way. And these sort of very simple de-stress moves, great if you're sitting at a desk all day, maybe you're doing a lot of driving, that's for work or whatever, maybe you're just doing a lot of sitting. Good to loosen up this neck. Good, well done. Now we're gonna look over our shoulders, so keeping your chin on the same level, Turn your head, look over your shoulder, look at the beautiful day. Oh, there goes the bell. It's glorious here this morning, which I think is nice, because I'm unfortunately I don't think it's staying, but it's beautiful now, and that's the important thing. So let's do the ear to shoulder again. Hold it there, tummy's in, pelvic floor needs to wake up. Over the other way. Very simple, very effective stretches. Look over your shoulder. Good morning, Mum. Look over your shoulder. Back you come. Look the other way. Excellent. And we're going to do a little side bend. And then the other way. So I'm sitting on a cushion because it's comfortable. <laughs> you don't have to. If you don't mind like sitting cross-legged, pop those legs out in front. Down you go. Now let's go over and hold it. So over with that arm. Stretch it through. I'm actually almost pushing my opposite knee down to really increase that stretch. Good, holding it there. Back you come, let's go the other way. So reach over, over we go. And I'm looking wherever it feels comfortable. So you might want to look down, forward, up. You choose. Stretch it through. Oh, bring yourselves back up. So it's still sweaty. <laughs> I get a little bit of more rotation work. Now take our hands out in front. Imagine you're holding two poles. Now you let go of one pole, bring your hand to your waist. Open the arm up behind. Bring it all the way back. Grip that pole again. Then the other arm's gonna go. Breath in. So it's waist. 
open, back you come. And we're going to add a lift and a lower. Let's go again. Hand to waist. Open out. Bring it back in. Both arms come up and down. Good. So as we are doing this, I would like you, hello Carolyn Elizabeth, I would like you to remember to pull in your stomach muscles. Stay lovely and tall. Let's go again. Waist. Open out. Back in. Arms overhead. Bring them back down. One more time. Waist. Open out. Back in. Arms overhead. And down. Lovely. Lace your fingers together. Push your hands away. And tuck your chin. So the back of the neck is having a beautiful stretch. You've got that rounded shape of the arms. I'm pulling my tummy in. I'm trying to keep my back lovely and straight. Good, release it. Hands come behind. I'm going to pop them on the floor. I'm going to lean back very slightly. And I'm going to squeeze my shoulders back. So this is a stretch for our chest. Lovely. Keep it there for me, everybody. Oh. Brilliant. Now, you need to unfold your legs now. So, oh, bring them up. Give them a little shake out. Get rid of that cushion. And we're going to do um, a little bit of mermaid. So, mermaid, I've got itchy eyes again. Sorry, guys. Get my glasses off. Mermaid is a funny old seated position. So, I'm going to give you some choices. That's a mermaid position. So, you've got one leg straight in front. I hope you can see it in my black outfit. Let me just do it here so you can see it for a second. So, straight leg in front. Other leg tucked behind. Choices. Get that leg around there. Okay, so you're much more comfortable on your hip. So other people are joining us this morning. Welcome, everybody. So get yourself in whichever mermaid position you can manage. If you need to have both legs out straight in front, you can. Now, ideally, can you see there I'm leaning to one side? Ideally, you want to be straight. So I'm going to put my hand down. Just push myself back to get my body as straight as I can. Anybody with sore hips, you know who you are. Let's have this leg out straight in front, okay? Breath in, little lean over. Bring it back, good. And again, little lean over. When you come back this time, hold this leg, do a little twist. Good, so straighten that leg out if you find it uncomfortable. So let's all do it with that leg out if you want to have a go. Over, bring it back, twist. Now sometimes I'll do it this way because it's just more comfortable and you have to listen to what your body's telling you. Let's do one more. Little twist. Good. Get both legs out. Shake them out. Oh. Go to your mermaid on the other side. Try with each position because sometimes one side's great, other side's not. Again, try and get nice and tall. Get really deep into that hip. So careful, mum. <laughs> Yes, you know I was talking to you. Over we go. Over and back. We're not adding a twist yet. We're just taking it over. Use your stomach muscles to bring you back. And again. And then this time, let's add a little twist. Hands on the leg. A little rotation. We're going to put those two moves together. Breathe in. Over you go. Back. Little twist. Over, back, we've got two more to go. Over, back, little twist, one more. Back, yes, well done. Undo those legs, oh, <laughs> give them a little shake out. Can be really uncomfortable that move, so let's go to something a bit more um, generally comfortable. We're gonna roll ourselves down to the floor. Get yourself comfortable. You can use hand weights if you want to, everybody. So if you've got those hand weights, my new trousers are rocking up, then put your hand weights here beside you. Feet hip width apart. Little breath in, pelvic tilt. And then release. So I really want you to get that feeling of tilt. And then release. It's a small move, I know. You want to make it a little bit harder, like quite a bit harder. Get your legs up in tabletop. There's a tilt, and then a release. Yeah. So you can choose. You can make it harder, or you can make it easy with the feet on the floor. So a little tilt, 
and a release. Now the reason I like the pelvic tilt, tilt, not only does it stretch that lower back, which is great, but it strengthens these abs too. And I'm sure you're using your pelvic floor because it works out as well. Lift up pelvic floor. Let's go into a bridge this time. So tilt up into a bridge. And then all the way down, roll through your back to the bottom. Let's go again. Tilt. And then all the way down. And now this time, when we go up into that bridge, we're going to hold it a little bit longer. So tilt into the bridge. Hold it there. Can you lift it a centimetre? Drop it a centimetre. Lift it a centimetre. All the way down. Whoa. Same thing again. So again, start with that lovely big breath in. Tilt. Up you come. So it's kind of a fairly high one. Lift a centimetre. Drop a centimetre. Lift a centimetre. Go all the way down. Whoa. And then we're going to bring one knee in. Give it a nice hug. Good, other leg extends, hold it there for me. Now you can have the heel on the floor of the other leg if you like. We're going to swap this legs over nice and slowly. Swap them back again. One more time. Yeah. Feet to the floor, back to our bridge. Breath in, tilt, up we go. Did you remember that little drop we did? So we dropped it, so we, sorry, we lifted it first, didn't we? Did it right. Then we dropped it. Then we lifted it. Then we went all the way down. Get hold of one knee, leg extension. Swap them over. And again, swap. One more. Excellent. Feet back down to the floor. You're gonna add into the bridge now. So you've got your hand weights now at the moment. We're going to have our arms up in the air, we're going to open them out, we're going to bring them back. Okay, if you want to be down low and not in a bridge, you can do that by all means. Breath in, pelvic tilt, up we come. So hold the bridge, hands are up in the air, weights if you choose. Open your arms out wide, bring them back in. Keep those hips high, take them out, bring them back in. Arms come down, hips come down, back to the floor, all the way. One knee in, one leg extended. We're going to do four, three, two, one more. Lovely. Feet back down, bridge. So you can see we're putting them all together now. Arms come up high, shoulders nice and relaxed. Hold it there for a second, breathe in. Arms go out. They come back in. Do your best not to wibble and wobble. Good. Arms come back down. All the way down. Back comes down. Whoa. Good. Take one knee in. Off we go again. We're going to do four, three, two, one more. Hold that leg for me there, everybody. Breath in. And then lift your head and shoulders so you can look down your leg. Admire those toes in the far distance. Okay, head and shoulders back down. Swap your legs over. Same thing. So my leg that is lifted, lengthened, is also lifted. Head and shoulders up. Look. Oh, wow. What great toes. <laughs> head and shoulders back down. Swap over. They're not really. I haven't got great toes. Lift your head and shoulders up. Pull your knee in. Head and shoulders down, change over. Are you putting that knee in? Yes. Head and shoulders up, look at those toes. Good, both knees in, have a little rest. Whoa. Rock yourself side to side, everybody. Well done. Okay, we're gonna go onto our sides now. So you just roll over, so you're facing me. Oh, lying on your side. Feet flat, please. So both feet flat, top leg is lifted a little bit and you're pushing down into the sole of that foot. Okay, now if you've got hand weights, again, you can use them here. Pick up your hand weight. Arms gonna come up. Ooh, and hold. It's a balance challenge this morning, everybody. 
Tummy's in, pelvic floor lifted. Breathe. Now this hand's in the air. You're going to touch your thigh. And it's going to go back where it came from. Then it's going to touch your other hand. Oops, touch the furniture in my case. Back to where it came from. Touch your thigh. Back where it came from. Touch your hand. I've got to sneak under. Touch your hand. <laughs> okay, lovely. Hold it there. Can you take your bottom leg slightly off the floor? I'm going to put my hand down first, lifting my bottom leg a little bit too. If you can then, oh, it's difficult, bring your arm up, that'd be great. Pull in your tummy, everybody breathe. Hold, don't go anywhere. Whoa. Do you remember what we did with our hand? We touched our thigh, didn't we? Let's try that. Touch your thigh, back up. Can you touch your other hand, all the furniture above your head? Good, let's do one more time. Keep that foot off the floor if you can. It's difficult, so help your body pull in your tummy. Other way. Good, everybody, crash. Oh, do we feel that getting working? Yes, quite tough on those old bottom muscles there. Roll over onto your back. We're gonna stretch those muscles out before we do the other side. So whichever leg was your top leg, cross it over the other one. I hope my feet are quite clean now. Okay, so if you're already going, oh, oh, hip, 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 that's really intense, don't do any more. If you want a bit extra, push onto that knee. And that already for me increases the stretch. If you want a lot extra, hands behind the thigh, you can have your head and shoulders up or down, whatever works for you. Now, I'm going to try and pull my leg in a bit without making myself cry. Hold it there. Breathe. And again. Good, but I'm going to roll onto the other side. I'm going to have a slurp of my drink while I'm here. Very hard work that first class this morning, wasn't it? That hip class. Oh, my goodness. Okay, onto your side. So, same idea, both feet flat. I love my furniture in this shop for some reason. Okay, top leg lifted a little bit, tummy's on. So remember, we thought about pulling our bellies in, lifting our pelvic floor, and if you can, arm up in the air. Hand weight optional. That's it. Keep pushing into the sole of your top foot. Okay, we're going to take this hand down to our thigh. Down it goes. Bring it back up. Then we're going to go over to our other hand. Touch. So it's a challenge, side balancing, really, really good core exercise. And focus. There you go. Excellent work. Let's do that again. Down to the thigh. Bring it back. Down to the hand. Good. Now just hold it there for me, everybody. I'm going to try and lift our other leg off the floor. Do you remember we did, I put my hand here to help. I'm much better balancing on my left than my right. So I'm going to try this. I may well end up falling over. So tummy muscles pulled in. I'm trying to focus in the middle distance. Hand to thigh. Bring it back up. It's such a glorious day today. Get out in that garden, everybody. That's it. Nice and controlled. Should we try one more? Go one more time. There we go. Back up. Last time. Oh. And back up. Good work. Everyone collapse. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's stretch that area of the leg through. I've got sunshine right in my face. So fold your leg over. I'm not complaining. Remember what I said about how much it hurts. So if you're getting that sharp pain, you stop. We also called it sour pain, didn't we? That's why my, my daughter's yoga teacher calls it, which I think is a really good way to think about it. Um, as opposed to sweet pain. I'm not sure it's sweet, but... <laughs> let's push that knee away a little bit more. But it's very important we learn to understand what our body's telling us. You know, you need to listen to your body, not push through if you're actually doing yourself damage. Pull that knee in a bit more. Hold it there. Oh, breathe. A little bit longer. Lovely. Release your legs down. Give them a shake out. 
We're going to go onto our tummies now for a little bit of back work. So roll yourselves over. Oh, all the way over. Okay, so back of thighs, back of legs, and our back. Now, when you put your feet flat on the floor like this, sometimes you'll get cramp. So if you're getting cramp, get a cushion under your toes now. Okay, head on your hands. Tummy muscles are pulled in. We're just going to lift the legs straight, pop it down, and the other one. Straight, and pop it down. So it's almost like you're pivoting it from your hip. So from your hip, and down. Now I've got my head off the floor just because I've got my microphone getting in the way, but you can rest your head down. Now as you lift your legs, clench your buttocks. Clench. Clench the buttock you're working. That's it, lovely. Nice and controlled. Good. Now I'm going to do both legs at the same time. Just do it very small. As you do it, guys, pull in your tummy. So I'm lifting and lowering. Tummy in. If you can go higher, go higher. Don't worry if you can't. I've noticed it's a very interesting, this exercise. Some people can lift their feet miles, others a couple of inches. Nothing to do with fitness. Everyone's just made differently. Back to singles. Here we go. Singles. So as you're working this, this is not just your legs you're working. Right through your back, your muscles there are cooperating to make this move happen, which is good exercise for them. Keep going, two more, one more, both legs at the same time, here we go, lift, down, tummy's in, two more, one more, oh good work, okay let's have a stretch, hands under armpits, up come, Child's pose or cat stretch, doesn't matter what, which one you fancy, either one. When we're lying on our tummies, quite often our backs get quite uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if you used to lie on your front when you were younger in bed. I used to, can't now, I'm crippling. <laughs> it's like lying on a sunbed on your front, it doesn't work. Let's go right down into cow, then all up to cat. One more down, all the way up. Excellent. Back down onto your fronts again. All the way down. And we're going to do a little bit of an upper body exercise. And it's VW. Now we've done this one before, but if you want to watch for a second, I'm going to put my head down and just demonstrate. Heads on the floor. Hands are out wide. I'm going to pull the elbows back and then push the arms away. Microphone's gone. So pull your hands back. Now you can have your head off the floor. I'm mainly doing that, like I said, because of my microphone. <laughs> but you can have your head down. So I'm sliding the hands along the floor to a wide V shape, putting them back into a tight W. And then what we're gonna add is a little chest lift. So head down, head up. Oh, that's better, I've got, I'm wearing it like a moustache, but that's working. And again. Two more. One more. And again, let's have a little stretch. Up we come. I'm going to go back into child's pose this time. Cat stretch is your option. Into child's pose, whichever one you want to do. And just settle here for a moment. Breathe. Well done. So we've got two moves now. We've got the upper body move, which is the VW. And then we've got the leg lifting moves as well. Sorry, my phone's making noises. So we're going to go again. And this time we're going to do alternating them and then we're going to put them together. One thing I want you to think about, pull your tummy in. That's the main thing. So, down we go again. Let's start with our hands beside us, head on the floor, microphone hopefully. Yeah, we'll put that microphone on. Okay. So to begin with, all I'm going to ask you to do is that long extended leg lift. Here we go, breath in. So let's lift, down. Let's do two more. And then we're going to do VW. So legs stay still, arms go out, in. That's two, we're going to do four. Back to legs again. So head down, lift. Now this is quite a lot of work. If you want to rest, please take one. And then we're going to go VW again. Tummy muscles are working hard. 
and hear me breathing. Two more. One more. Excellent. Now have a little rest there. The last bit we're going to do here is we're going to do a double leg lift at the same time we do the W with the VW. So if you just have a little look, it's this. Okay, now, don't do this if you have a bad back. Okay, just stick with what we were doing before. Big breath in. Here we go, let's try for four. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Oh, well done. That's enough of that, everybody. Back up, child's pose or cat stretch. You make your choice, whichever one works for you. And when we do back work like that, it's really good. It's very important our backs are strong. But equally, you have to make sure we don't do ourselves a mischief. If you are achy through your back tomorrow or the next day, that's fine because you work your muscles there. There's so nothing to be worried about. If it's sharp pain, then obviously that's not good. Message me if that's the case. Shoulders relaxed. Have a little rock side to side if you're in child's pose. Good, well done. Up you come, back onto your backside. Sitting for me. Legs out in front, we're going to do a little bit of stretching. Sit as tall as you can. Legs slightly wide apart, and a wide hip width. So really straight and tall, very posh. Breath in. We're going to lean forward now, don't tuck your chin, just lean yourself forward. My hands are on my knees, just for support and then bring yourself back again. This time, tuck your chin and roll forward. Ooh. Up you come, straight forward. Back you come, tuck your chin rounded. Straight forwards. Rounded. Last time, straight. And then rounded. Good work. I want you to open your legs a little bit wider. Make sure you're sitting really straight. You might need to sit a sort of cushion under your bottom. Hands on the floor in front. Now we're going to have a little game. How far forward can you walk your fingers? Now if you're already leaning back, you're going to really struggle with this. So sometimes lift up, tip forward, that can really work. Breath in. Walk your fingers forward. If you've got your neighbour, your friend with you, not your neighbour, must be your friend, isn't it? Or your, your living friend. Um, see how far you've gone. It's not a competition, but it is quite interesting. People often think this is about back mobility. This is more about hamstrings. Okay, can we go a bit further forwards? Breath in. Allow yourself to go forwards. Let the back curve. Head's heavy. And we're just going to stay here. Don't do anything else. Relax your thighs, relax your feet. Good work. Gently bring yourself up. It's tough, isn't it? In come those legs. One comes up and tucks. So let me just turn so you can face better. See better. Foot comes in. Nice and tall. Okay. Now again, sitting straight. I just want you to lean forward wherever it feels comfortable. So you might be leaning over the knee. You might be leaning in between those legs. I think for me, one hand either side. And again, I'm just letting my body weight pull forward. Bottom stays on the floor. Now if you can't get your foot right up high, it's spine down low. I'm just asking you to let the body go nice and heavy. So you're leaning into it, you're letting the body do its stretching. You're not bouncing or pulling or anything. Good, well done, that you come. Let's do the other leg. So out it goes. Leg comes in, and same thing. Breath in, maybe a hand on the outside, lean forwards. Again, keep those buttocks glued. And this is about encouraging stretches all over the place. So for me, I get this more in my hip and probably my yeah, knee, this hip as well. Some of you might get it in your back or shoulders more. Everyone's really different. So lean forward a little bit more. 
well done. Bring yourselves back up. Pop both of your feet together, maybe at distance or possibly some of you bring them closer up. Again, make sure you're not leaning backwards. And I want you to bring your chest down. Don't mind if you tuck your chin or not. Bring your chest forwards. I've got my elbows on my knees just because I'm applying a tiny bit of pressure. Let those hips stretch. Good work, everybody. Shake them out. Well done. It's time for our relaxation. Class, as always, zoomed by. So get yourselves nice and comfortable. Find a comfy place. Sit in the sun if you've got sun where you are. And we will get our reward. So lying on your backs, all your sides, all sitting up, doesn't matter which. I'm going to change the music and we're going to enjoy it. I'm going to make sure that I can uh, lie in the sun there. Good stuff, everybody. So this is our chance to relax. No sneaking off and putting the kettle on yet. Look at the chimes. Time for us to just take a little time out. That's all. I just want you to be peaceful and calm. If you start worrying about something, push that away and see if you can bring something positive into its place.
well done, everybody. Have a nice little stretch. Don't give those fingers and toes a wiggle. And then when you're ready, gently bring your knees up. Maybe give them a hug in if you want to. And then we're going to roll over and come up to sitting. Good work, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed that today. Oh, I certainly did. I feel stretched and a bit invigorated. And we've got one more class this morning which is going to be our um, bite-sized strength, and today it's tummies. So um, leave your mat where it is, have a quick drink of water, and I'll see you back here at quarter past ten. Thanks for coming, everybody. Well done. See you in a moment.